Hey guys, welcome back to Ganshee Plans. Uh, it is the time of the month where I am going to be doing a weekly plan with me video. That was a weird way to phrase that. That's what we're doing today. Um, this month is a little bit tight, and I think part of that is because I'm keeping an extra pen back here. Um, by the way, this is my A7 Mo term. If you missed it, this was, uh, I made its debut in my December plan with me. You may be able to hear the baby crying. She's not enjoying her diaper change right now. Um, I'm using this My Summer Touch Weekly this month, and this is the first week of December. These stickers and washi tape keep kind of peeling up, but that is beside the point. Um, I'm enjoying it. It's working out pretty well. I've got, well, I guess you'll see sort of some segments of my day over here. I'll probably do things basically the same for this next week's setup. I'm going to go ahead and pop everything out just because it has been... It's, it's a bit tight in here uh, with the flyleaf in the back. Um, so I'm trying to keep things a little bit, I don't know, slimmer as it were. So we're going to start with some decoration. I think it's pretty much going to be the same decoration as last week. Uh, more or less, maybe I'll reverse it and do red instead of green and green instead of red. Like here, for example. Um, Last week obviously had the 30th of November is Monday, so I did that as an opposite color. But I'm just going with a very traditional red and green color scheme for December, which I have been. Um, yeah, we'll just keep doing this. These are the Zebra Mod Liner brush pens, and I basically just use them uh, like highlighters in a lot of ways. Because for one thing, I have the whole, the full color set um, in these, which I don't have all of them in the standard highlighter set got these as a Christmas gift last year from my grandma. So I'm just sort of headers. It already has the days of the week, so I'm just going to leave that there. They probably could stand to be like drawn over again to make them bolder. But and then I'm going to use again these Planner Kate stickers. And probably in an ideal world, I shouldn't be, well, for one thing. Okay, I used the red ones last month, last week. Um, there's not a full next week of them available, so I will go ahead and use the greens anyway. Um, when I got these, I was like, can I do this tidily so I don't have bits and pieces lying around at the end? And probably not, and it's not a huge deal because there are a lot of date dots on here. So just trying to keep this oh, very traditional. Ah! It dropped. <laughs> dropped Christmas. So very straightforward. I like Planner Kate for that, for like very straightforward, um, no frills kind of stickers. Um, well. I don't know, I think I'm going to get tired of this red and green theme by the end of it all. It's, it's very aggressive, isn't it? <laughs> the red and green color scheme for Christmas. I should probably, well, said I could do sort of an advent purple and pink theme, maybe for next week with Gaudete Sunday. I think I've done a, uh, a Just Catholic Things video about advent, if I find it, or if I, it exists, I'll link it in the corner for you. Sorry, I don't know if you're noticing the camera keeps changing. Uh, I've been having issues with my camera battery not holding a charge, so we're filming on my phone now. Just want to make sure we get you the content you need. Plus, I do need to actually plan my week. So, also from Planner Kate are these little header label -y stickers. And I found that this section here, instead of using it for a week weekend to-do list, um, worked well to have a place to mark down the dinner options we have available to us. Just the stuff we have ingredients for. So that's where this will go, and I can sort of transfer over what we have ingredients for already. A lot of this is in the freezer, and that's always the issue, is it takes so long to defrost stuff that I can look. A lot of this is, you know, shelf stable to a point, but I have to actually do some prep the day or two before to decide what we're going to have. As it is right now, we have a lot of leftovers in the fridge, so 
this is what I got ingredients for. Probably won't have to do groceries for a little while because we keep getting milk from our relatives too. Okay, I'll put the same washi tape over here. This is the general to-do list. Um, I was kind of thrown off by the sections of it, but I decided to just ignore those and use it as just a straight up general things to do this week that haven't been assigned to a day list and that's working. Here's another little planner cape label, header thingy. We'll be filling that up momentarily. I'm also going to toss some more washi tape up at the top. I liked that this uh, gold one seemed to fit perfectly. Is it a fun little bit of, I don't know, flare? It's actually slightly smaller than the box. And also I'm gonna pull up the sticker and slap it on top. The nice, one nice thing about planner cake stickers is that they're all like repositionable pretty well. I got that bit, a tidbit of info from Carrie Harling, who uses, or at least she used to. I don't know what she's doing anymore. She hasn't made videos in a while, which is a shame. I always love her videos. Uh, all right, that's just fun. And then over on this side is a good place I found for my, um, video production stuff. So I'm going to put a different kind of sort of header over here. And then the videos that I will be working on, I will put there. I think that I might do off camera just to uh, keep things a little bit of a surprise, but chances are good that I will put it, uh, will write them down before I take my weekly photo for Instagram. So if you follow me over there and you want a little bit of a preview of what my upcoming videos are, you can often get a bit of a hint by going to my Instagram. And that is one photo that I do make sure to post every week is uh, my my weekly setup. So the final uh, header sticker is, it just says this week, which is generic enough. It will fit just nicely right here. It looks good. Okay, then this section um, what did I do last week for the header? I did red, but I think I'll do gold this week. This is like a tracker, um, and yeah, I'm just using it like a tracker. It has more space than I need, but that's fine. So, okay. There we go. Things I've been tracking, trying to work on, and I haven't been filling out my tracker, but garden. Obviously I have to go out there and just at least water it every day. Trying, always trying to get back into the habit of exercising. The price for the program I use is going up next month. So I'm like trying to get back into the swing of it to justify the increase. Otherwise I might want to, you know, feel like I need to cancel and then I'll probably never exercise. Oh, this isn't going to happen. I was going to say park, but that's not going to happen. Probably because they're closing down the playgrounds, which doesn't make any sense to me. We're going into more restrictive, um, well, restrictions because of the spike in cases. And so they're shutting down playgrounds. And I, oh, I'm so bummed about that because um, we were really enjoying it. Just this first week of uh, my husband being back to work, we went to the park a few times and my daughter, my two-year-old, absolutely had such a blast at the park, at the playground, because it had been a long time and yeah, anyway, bummed that that can't happen if they're all shut down. So I'm going to go ahead and mark, well, yeah, that's what I did, was planning my whole day around going to the park in the morning. I sort of am splitting up my day, like, that's early morning, like breakfast time, then there's, this is the period of time when the TV shows that she watches that will let me get stuff done while she's watching TV, um, and then her nap, so I think I'll still mark everything split up like that, um, and then kind of plan my day ahead. Um, it's been nice that 
having this guy in the back with all my cards gives a little bit of space right here to hang on to my friction pen with me at all times, which has not been the case with my Filofax. And that allows me to, um, let's see, from 1130, that allows me to sort of make some tentative plans on here instead of feeling like I need to like wait to write stuff down until after it's already happened, which kind of defeats the point of a planner, if you ask me. Right, I just say I have here predicted that she'll wake up around 3.30. So I'll fill the rest of that, draw more lines later. Uh, but let's go ahead and fill out the actual like what's going on this week stuff. So we'll look first at our calendar here. Um, I have to work on decorations. I'm going to try to put up the lights, maybe set up the tree, stockings, stuff like that. Um, pesto, that's our little giveaway thing for our friends and neighbors. And then I do want to mail our Christmas cards. And that is like the final step of hopefully I'm going to get more of like actually preparing them to be mailed done this weekend before <laughs> that comes. But I'm filming this on Saturday as is technically or usually the case. All right. On the 8th, I do my Twitch resubs resubscription and then I'm going to put the car insurance here because it's due by the 8th. I'll do that the day before. Um, and then that is it on my dated to-do list. Or no, that's, yeah, that's to-dos. These are events here. Okay, so here on the 10th is my husband's cousin's birthday. So I'll grab this here. A little balloon sticker for fun. If I can get it up. It's a little tricky. Come on. It's stuck. All right. I love the design of these little birthday balloon stickers, but they do have a very tricky kiss cut. So the tenth. Here we go. I'll just slap that over here. This top little header is a nice place to put things like all day events and important dates and stuff like that. All right. Then the next place I need to look for to do's, I think the only other place I have to look for to do's is in my garden maintenance. Um, I've been doing some like timed out planting so that um, like different square feet every different day so that like they're not all ready to harvest at the same time. So this is the 7th through the 13th. So let's see what's on here. Nothing. Everything is next week. All right. Well, then that's fine. I think that actually that means that's it. I'm sure things will pop up. <laughs> I thought there was going to be more to write down here, but that's pretty much it. Um, I hope you enjoyed that <laughs> and keep an eye on my Instagram. There's a link in the description to my Instagram account where you will see this in action in a few more days. And then uh, don't forget to subscribe. I post videos twice a week and I'll see you in the next one on Sunday. Bye.